Hello everybody. Today we will learn how we can analyze a Next.js applications bundle. Uh, why we want to do this? We want to do this to find out if there are any unnecessary packages that are unnecessarily large uh, and if we can reduce those packages or remove those packages <coughs> the performance of our application will definitely improve. Uh, sometimes we can find alternative packages and things like that. So let's see how we can analyze the Next.js applications bundle. To do that you have to install a little package called next bundle analyzer if you are using uh, npm or yarn it doesn't matter so you can just go to project and you can paste it i already installed it so i'm not going to do that so after you install this uh, let me show you bundle analyzer so this is here it's installed inside this project next you have to go to your next config.js file and in the documentation it says that you have to create this with bundle analyzer and then wrap your config configuration next just configuration with this with bundle analyzer function or something like that so you can come to this next config js and you first just copy paste this part you come here you paste this here and then in the module.exports you export your next config inside this function okay that's it uh, you'll notice that i have an uh, extra configuration here which is uh, with sentry so i'm using sentry for this application and we'll see the impact of this later so sentry is a tool to track the errors of your nextjs application in production so after you deploy the app if the app crashes you will find out what errors have happened uh, while it was in production or being used by the users so uh, here is my next config file and you can see uh, I have uh, wrapped my next config with this function and then I wrapped this config with the sentry config so pretty straightforward then what you have to do if you come to the documentation you can see you have to run this command analyze true yarn build so if you run this command it will automatically generate three files i'm not going to run the command because i already ran it so let me just show you the results you don't have to do anything else you just run this command and three files will be opened in your browser so here are the three files the first file is for node.js packages the second file is for edge but it's not working for some reason but it doesn't matter anyway because size only matters size of packages matters mostly on the front end side so here is our client.html file you can see that this is a very fancy file uh, you have to uh, know how to read this file to find out the issues okay so when you hover over any uh, <coughs> any colored section you can see that this is a greenish section this is a bluish section pinkish something like that here you can see we have the name app dash something random.js so this is basically our app.js and uh, it corresponds to our this app.js file right so as you know that in a next.js application app.js is loaded for all of the pages so it's a common thing and here you we can see which part of our applications are taking the most amount of space you can see that sentry itself is taking a huge huge section so this whole uh, square this whole square is representing the size of sentry compared to the other so this is a relative chart so the bigger the square the larger it is you can see the size as well when you hover over sentry you can see that its uh, ggpt size is 31.63 kilobyte which is pretty large i would say and you can uh, do the same thing for all other packages uh, you can see that i'm loading some pages some utility functions and loading some components here as well also here is my next SEO module for SEO purposes things like that so now you can ask yourself uh, do you really need sentry or not or if you are really concerned about the performance of your application and your client or maybe you are what you want to improve the performance maybe it's worth trying to remove sentry and see how the results looks like okay so let's do that uh, go back to the config file uh, I to disable sentry I can just comment out this part and it will just disable all of the sentry stuff then I can again run this analyze true yarn build and it will again generate the graph for me and here is my new graph you can see I have two extra graphs here just let's close those out we don't need those so this is my previous uh, 
previous uh, heat map or something like that a bundle analyzer for when I had Sentry enabled and now this is for I don't have Sentry enabled and you can see app.js is no longer the largest rectangle or largest square do you see that this is our app.js it is much much smaller so now our framework is the largest one but previously framework was not the largest one so it was the second largest one so it makes sense which which means we removed Sentry and our app.js became much smaller here you can see our uh, app.js is now only 23 kilobytes previously our app.js was 55 kilobytes so you can see that we almost cut it in half and this kind of savings will definitely improve the performance of your application and now i can take a look around here and see if there are any large uh, large uh, boxes that i want to I don't want to load in our application for example here you can see I am loading a package called react text format so this is a very simple package basically what it does is when you put some text inside react text format it just formats the text the links everything in a nice way but it is uh, pretty large for its utility so I will probably replace it to improve the performance even more so uh, that's how you do it uh, it's a really really nice package the bundle analyzer i'll link it in the description uh, you can run it on your existing next.js application to see if you can improve the performance of your next step even more and it will definitely help you in uh, achieving uh, better seo results or better user experience for your users um, that's about it uh, subscribe if you like and uh, thank you so much see you later